In this video, we're going paddleboarding and kayaking in Fort Lauderdale. It's some of the must-do water activities in Southern Florida because there are endless amounts of rivers to have fun. I'll talk about the best deal I was able to find that you can use possibly for a spring break trip with your friends or if you're going on a family vacation and most of y'all are college-aged kids. If you're new here, I'm Miss Worldwide Traveler and I help college students use their resources so they can travel and see the world. Okay, we left the Airbnb and we cleaned it up like as much as we could. We folded everything or made the bed and stuff and then throw away the trash in the trash chute. And yeah, we just wanted to leave it how we found it because we are borrowing a home. So something about this area is that this very often times double left turn lanes and double right turn lanes maybe not the same intersection but the fact that there's double right turn lanes kind of freaked us out for a bit because it was so new underwater guy i don't think it's underwater raw flower vibes Getting our boats, kayaks, paddleboard. The next time I paddleboard, I'll make sure to bring my camera. But my dad got some films. We'll see how they are. My parents kayak together, and then me and my siblings all got our own paddleboard. And this place is really nice. They gave us a discount for our fifth one because it was originally a two for one deal, but we have like an odd number, so they give us like half off on that last one. That was cool. This place actually recently moved down the street, so it should still be around the rivers. My dad had a hard job being the cameraman for two girls. I'm, I'm, I'm doing right now, but I turned to 360 already. Look at that, look at that. Oh. This is a video, this is a video. Okay, hold on. Am I in it? Yeah, 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 you in, you in. All three of you in. More information on the deals I got at Fort Lauderdale, cause you gotta save money where you can, are all in the vlog. I was able to find way more deals in Fort Lauderdale than Miami. So if you're on a budget budget, go with Fort Lauderdale because I know us college kids don't have all that money and then also like family trips can get expensive. But make sure to check the links in my blog to make sure the deals are still active. Here's us going under a bridge and my dad's fingers all over the camera that may never leave honestly, but it's okay. <laughs> because it gets kind of funny later. <laughs> For water sports like this, it's really handy to have one of those bags that you can put your phone in and just hang around your neck. I'll link a cheap but good one that I have off Amazon and they're so useful even at home, like if you have a pool or just wanna play music in the shower. Here's my dad, the man behind the camera and his finger again. <laughs> Here's some live photos of what my dad took. We love that finger across the screen look. It was really cool paddleboarding around the rivers here in Fort Lauderdale because we saw like the boats, of course, and then the houses, and we saw like a lot of plants. And in the water, we saw small fish and big fish. The store manager was really nice and gave us a big dry bag for all our stuff. 
but it's not guaranteed that you'll get one unless you rent it or purchase one. So either bring your own dry bag, I'll link down what I'm talking about in the description, or just have one of those phone bags that I mentioned earlier. Me and my siblings all try to make one big giant paddle board. So me and my brother were on the outside and my sister was on the inside and we tried to stay together and like move us. <sighs> that was cool, it was really fun. If it's not obvious, my dad is the star of this show like my friend Tiaja was in my last video on the Moon Festival. Yeah. Yes. On that pool, there were little crabs. So cool. We saw small fish and big fish. And some people were on the boat, so we got to talk to them a little bit. Trees. What are you looking at? Long fishes. Long fish? Whoa, more fishes. I don't know if this can These are babies, though. Yeah, these are like the small fish we saw. But once we got further, we saw really big fish. And they made like rings in the, the water. Oh, here's some more. That's like the oyster barnacle things we saw. They were just on the side. And then we bought a little crab magnet that was really pretty. It's like water colored on top. Kind of like the desk. And it says Fort Lauderdale on it. My mom's gonna give it to someone. And I liked it because we actually saw crab. They were so cute. It was fun. We also like bumped into each other a lot. My sister's naked. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We also like bumped into each other a lot, but none of us fell or anything. My mom was scared at first, but she overcame it, which is what traveling's about. You push yourself. And then, yeah, I definitely pushed myself. I was standing like at the end. I was. <laughs> I was standing at the end, even though the water was a little rougher, but I like kept my balance. So that was really cool. That was my first time paddle boarding. It was all our first time doing whatever we were doing. There you did. Oh. <laughs> 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 Liar! <laughs> My sister said she drank water, but it wasn't even open, so basically she lied. <laughs> but she didn't know. I saw a log, kind of, so I, I like picked it up with my paddle because I thought it looked like a duck or some sort of animal, but I picked it up and I tried to pick up this melon thing that was in the water too, but it was like moving away from me and I couldn't get it and then I like fell behind my whole family because I was trying to get it <laughs> and then there was a peach in the water and I tried to get that too but then I like it was at the same place the melon was and my family was really far ahead so yeah my hair got really sweaty so I had to tie it up really fun right may I have fun yeah <laughs> also I didn't film on my camera because he was kind of scaring me because like I could drop it if anything, but I didn't fall or anything, so I could have kept down my neck. And my brother got some pictures, so make sure you check out my Instagram to see how those pics came out. I planned paddleboarding and kayaking on the last day of our itinerary because you don't really get that wet, and we could just shower once we got home later that day in Texas. Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be showing you who's the best person to go snorkeling with, especially if it's going to be your first time ever snorkeling in the Fort Lauderdale area. And I'm just going to be sharing with you more deals and things to do in the Fort Lauderdale, Miami area. If you want to know where we ate later that day in downtown Fort Lauderdale, or just other places suggested by a local Floridian, you can check out my blog post below or this video up here. And for everything Southeast Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, including beaches and our flight there and back on Spirit Airlines during normal times, check out this playlist.